Hello everyone, I am Vedant Setia, a technical marketing intern at Infoblox. In this video, we will talk about a new solution that improves DNS traffic control. DTC is an Infoblox feature that allows the user to manage and load balance the DNS traffic based on various factors such as client location, server location, or server availability. DTC works at three main levels, that is LBDN, pools and servers and has different load balance methods at each level. This solution gives you the capability of modifying the load balancing ratios at the pool level automatically by polling a user specified parameter that can be pooled using SNMP. Since we are using SNMP, it gives us the advantage to choose any parameter which can be pulled using this protocol, for example, CPU utilization, NIC usage, RAM, etc. Once the user specifies the threshold, the algorithm monitors the parameter and modifies the ratio intelligently to an optimum configuration as per the parameter usage. To talk about the workflow, the user logs in using the Great Master's IP address, username, and password. After authentication, the user has to select the LBDN from a drop down on which he or she wants to implement this solution. After selection of LBDN, enter the threshold for the parameter, let's say 45% in our case. After this step, the solution starts monitoring the servers and consolidates the results at the pool level. If the parameter is within the threshold, the ratios are maintained, but if the ratios exceed the limit, for example, Pool 2 reaches 50% CPU utilization, the ratios will be modified intelligently by the script where the pool having the least parameter usage will be assigned the maximum ratio and the pool having the minimum parameter value will have a maximum ratio, that is, it will receive the maximum DNS traffic. Let's quickly look at the demo. This is the DTC lab setup which I will be using for the demonstration. I have already configured a few servers, pools and LBDNs. For this video, we will be working with LBDN demo. The initial configuration for the pool ratios is as shown. Now let's look at the application. The user enters the grid master's IP address, username and password. After authentication, a request is made to the grid using REST APIs to get the list of all the LBDNs present on the grid along with a few parameters as shown below. In the drop down, only the LBDNs having their load balancing method as ratio will be displayed. After selecting the LBDN, the next page displays the pools along with a few parameters as shown below. On the header section, the current value of the SNMP parameter with the pool ratio is also displayed for all the pools present on the grid. Type the threshold value, let's say 45% and press the submit button. The script starts monitoring the servers and consolidated results with the pool ratios are shown in the monitor. Let's stress the servers now. We are using a stress command to push load on the CPU which is an open source tool for loading the machine for testing purposes. Let us stress server 1 with 40%, server 2 with 60% load and server 5 with 100% load. We can see the monitors going up on the screen. When the threshold is reached, the ratios are modified to an optimum configuration in a predictive way where the CPU having the least load will receive maximum queries that is maximum ratio will be assigned to it. This can be verified by checking the grid manager and we can see the ratios are updated on the grid manager as well. When the parameter values go below the threshold, the pool ratios are brought back to the initial configuration. This solution is available on GitHub on the link shown here and the blog is available on the Infoblox community web page. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more such exciting updates.